Oh. Start with one brick of marble cheese. Yeah. Top Wait. Top, we're gonna add some Velveeta cheese. Yo, that's a whole lot of cheese. Egg noodles. Hold on, the cheese and the pasta. The There's more cheese than pasta. We're gonna add three cans of cream of mushroom soup. This is gonna be our sauce oh, here. The bomb now, book, top of the mushroom soup, I'm gonna add two cans of chunk light Wait. tuna. Two. And I'm just seasoning the tuna a little bit. No, nah, man. Fries. Somebody come look at this. And now we're gonna add in some chopped white onions. And this is just going to add a little bit more flavor and add a little bit of crunch. And There's too onions, much. I'm going to add some peas and carrots. And these are just some cooked oh, peas and carrots that I'm using. And last but not least, just need to season this. And I'm starting with a little bit of salt. Oh, I'm going to eat that. And a little bit of black pepper. And just a little bit of oregano. And there we go. Now I'm going to bake this. And we're going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees. And we really want that cheese to melt completely. Is she serious? All those flavors get acquainted with each other. Some of the call the police. I'm serious this time. We're going to put it into our oven. And we're going to cook it for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay. Hold on. Sure, she's serious. Ooh, that melted perfectly. And it smells so good already. All right. Time to mix this. Start with the Best cheese. That's good. Ooh, that's perfect. No man, that's annoying like every single language so in the world. So hardy. So you can kind of guess where I'm going with this now. This smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this right now. That smells amazing. Smooth that Bread, I don't smell. Uh, like uh, that. Uh, and now we're going to take some more of that marble. More cheese? And just sprinkle that all on top. Oh, I do it. Perfect. Now I'm going to take some of these little goldfish crackers. Dump them into a Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to smash these up a little bit. Now we're just going to take some of these and just kind of sprinkle them oh, on top of that cheese. It's going to give it a nice crunchy outside. Now for the final touches, we're going to use some of these little rainbow fish. Yo, what's the point? Place those right on what's the point of even doing that? Picky eaters at home. This is a good way to trick them into eating their peas and carrots. Now it's time to put this back in the oven. And we're just going to put it in the oven for again? Three, four minutes. Where are you do? I just want to get a little bit of toast on there. There we go. We'll see you soon. Let's make sure I didn't burn those little fishies. Oh, that's good. Okay, we're good. We can we can take this out. <laughs> no, man. She can't be serious. There we go. Got a nice bubbly situation happening over there. That's when you know it's ready. Wow. This smells amazing. It's got a nice big scoop. I know those fish are probably going to fall off as soon as I pick it up. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That looks amazing. No, that not look right, good. Let's give it a shot. Ew. Mm -hmm. A diarrhea dot. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Whose man's is this? Really Who's this guy? Me know him not eat it, you know. He not eat nothing. Mm -hmm. I lie, him, I tell. That is so Watch good. her. Chew it. She not even wow. chew it. <laughs> it don't taste good. She did it.